And there's her coach, Arthur Dimitriev, two-time Olympic I love you, champion. Jackie, I'll get off my raft. <laughs> Let's go to another Russian skater now, Anna Pogorelaya. Five foot five and a half. That is tall for a skater. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah, five seven in it, her skates. It's, not, it's yeah. not super tall, but yeah, she's one of the taller skaters and no rules. Very elegant. I was about to say the height probably lends itself to an elegance and flow to her skate. Well, if your legs are longer, you can just get across that ice a little bit easier. As you may have noticed, she builds speed very quickly. Two years ago, she won the Cup of China. Believe it or not, there was a correction in the air on that first jump. It was subtle, but she had to make a correction, and she, <laughs> she made it very well. She had a very up and down season last year. She seemed to lose a lot of confidence, had a lot of errors in her skating. And I was just thinking, see, I jinxed her because I was just thinking how much better she was doing. And then down she went. Well, she is doing something this year that I didn't see at all last year. She is involved with the music. Yes. She's encouraging the audience to participate in this program. She's, she's the here and now. What an improvement in that aspect. Phoning 911 as soon as she took yep. off. As a skater out on the ice, can you hear the audience gasping? Does that affect you? <laughs> it's a funny question, but it's true. Yeah, on a fall like that, um, you'll be talking about the gasp that you heard in the dressing room afterwards. And yeah. I mean, you, you don't want loud. to hear that. No. <laughs> You've already heard your, your hand or your hip hit the ice. You've heard the marks come down, and then you hear the audience. It's just an insult to injury. <laughs> though I, I think this is a way much better rounded performance than we've seen from Anna for a long time I've seen her skate clean before I would rather watch this performance me too with the absolutely yeah I love the effort and whatever she did off season whatever she changes she made in her coaching or her training I think this is a skater who's going to enjoy her talent out on the ice and share it with everybody. Those jumps, they'll come. They'll yeah. come. She's yeah. that good. But this is a huge improvement. Mm. That so is what? Anna Pogorelaya of Russia. Just saying, after all that, didn't she hear me? Smile. No, come on, honey. 
<laughs> she's thinking of the gas. Yeah, there she's we go. Thinking there of the gas. Is. <laughs> well, there is the bow. Bronze at the 2015 European Championships was dealing with an ankle injury at Worlds, and that's what led to the 13th place finish there. But we will have Anna's marks when we return on Road to the Olympic Games. Thank you, Scott. We're awaiting the results of Anna Pogorelaya of Russia sitting fourth after the short program. You know, let's face it, even after a while, even to me, the jumps can all start to look the same. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, they're powerful and they're exciting and they're wonderful. But you know how much time they take up of the program? It's exactly. minuscule, really. There is so much more that has to go on out there. And uh, I really applaud Anna for uh, the improvement that she's made. And she stayed with it. The program had a few blips. <laughs> and uh, a gasp from the audience, which is... But a huge step forward for her, yeah. I think. So she needs 122.82. Yeah, she left. And just missed Ooh. out on that. Oh. 122.69. That will put her behind Radionova, who we saw, who is currently still holding on and to the lead. As we were saying, the uh, competition within mm -hmm. uh, Russia for the ladies is intense, so that's gonna hurt. Yeah. It's a long flight home. That's what she's thinking about.